Hello everybody, good buddy Kill here, here with more Escape from Siberia. It's so crazy and shit. Okay. That's where we left off. Uh, Francis just got his memories back. Right. So we gotta check up on the villagers. Zoom. Hello. Oh, you woke up. I'm so relieved. I'm terribly sorry. I know we were supposed to protect our own lives, but we... Nope, nothing that way. Not now, anyway. Oh, there you are! I just finished making the soup, I promise. Please come in and warm up. Oh. How was it? It was really good! First time I've eaten something really tasty in Siberia. I'm glad. Only Rubal's villagers are able to eat that soup. Eh? Why? Because none of the ingredients are delivery food. It has to really be kept a secret from outsiders. If security ha if security headquarters finds out that we gather our own food and make our own recipe, then they'll send us to camp immediately. Uh, then I shouldn't have eaten this. No, you may. You saved Rubolf and our uh, Francis's friend. Honestly, I don't think a single serving of soup is even enough to show you how much we appreciate you. Uh, thank you. No, please, thank you. Yay! Cause tasty soup. Hello. These there's nothing good that will come from out from being envy of dorms. I understand that. No matter what, monsters are going to come into Rubolf and attempt to eat us. And every time Francis puts himself in danger to protect us, we have to do something. Next time, bring your two friends with you, and I'll feed them soup as well. Cute. I understand that it's dangerous, but we have to gather our own food to survive. Yeah, it was kind of sad that way. Oh well. Yum. Back to Francis. Hi, brother! Oh, welcome back. How was Rubal's original mushroom soup? It was delicious. I haven't had something that good in years. Of course it's good. It was made by, by my civilian. Alright, now that you're back, though, I need to have a serious conversation with you. Fritiano can't go with you. But... I'm sorry. I cannot leave my ci What is my accent? Uh, cannot leave my civilians to fend for themselves. I do b I do want to punch Ivan and Asa in their faces, but my civilians are more important to me than that dirt. Because I made a stupid move 60 years ago, my civilians are now suffering the aftermath. It's my duty to protect, to protect them. For your people... Like big brother, at this rate. I know. Rubuff will last much longer. Sooner or later, I will be demolished. I will demolish, whatever. I know that myself. But I can't leave them here. It's not the choice I can make right now. Please understand. Big brother. Francis, are you in there? Yes, I'm here. What's wrong? Nothing. We just want to give you some soup and talk to you about something. All right, come in. Hmm? What's the whole village doing here? It's only five people. Francis, we have to tell you something. Yes. Happy birthday. We are kicking you out of Rubo. What? Why? What's this all about? We didn't mean to eavesdrop, but we heard a bit of the conversation between you and that man. He wants to take you from away from this land, right? Yes, but like... It's okay, Francis. You're going to die if you stay in Rubolf, right? We can't let that happen. What the hell are you... You said it yourself that you are going you were going to demolish. It's because of your wounds, isn't it? You can't tell me otherwise. You! Right there, fizz something! Uh, me? me? Take Francis with you. Take him anywhere, far away from where monsters can hurt him. Oh, you guys. Somewhere where he doesn't have to protect us. Stop this. If I leave, there will be no one to protect you from the monsters. What are you telling me to do is abandon you all? I can't do that. We can't just sit back and watch you die either. Listen to us, Fran- No, listen to us, Francis. Just like you want to protect us, we want to keep you safe as well. 
We can't protect ourselves. We have to. We can protect ourselves. We have to. We can't have you always saving us. We might not be able to do successfully do so, but we can try. So please, Francis. I don't want to. I don't want anyone else. I love to die. Big brother Francis. All right. If that's what everyone wants me to do, I will leave Rubolf. Francis, but remember this. I will come back, and when I do, I will, I will take you all where we can tr all truthfully belong. Truthfully belong? Yes, to a beautiful country of liberty, equality, and brotherhood. A country? What's all this about? You all know so. Are we ready, Fleetiano? To get our countries back, we will need to hit Ivan and Austin to face and go back to our lands. Yay! Alright, where should we head first? I need to go see Fertello and Wing Yao too. Do you know where they are? I was told Fertello's at headquarters. Wing Yao, I'm not too sure. He wasn't with us when we got caught. But I told Kiku everything, so maybe Wing Yao too. We can't say anything for sure until we go and check it out. Cheer up, for now. Let's head to live. If we are headed to headquarters, it's on the way anyway. See? By the way, Fleet Channel, so something I've noticed. But why do you smell like iron? Eh? Iron? Uh, what do you mean? There's no meaning behind it, but. Eh? Oh, oh, maybe. Is this it? <laughs> why do you have that? Is that the real hot mon dieu? Where did you get that thing? I remember your. Raising you to be better than these! Uh, they, no, I didn't take it from anyone. I, I picked it up. Why would you pick it up? So do I now be a good boy and toss it? They, no, I can't. It, it's Evans. So I can't just toss it away. Mm -hmm. Evans? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it fell out, but I can't just throw it away. I have to give it back. Mm -hmm. Well, if we decide on that, then I'm going not to force you to throw it away. Let's head out. Well, that was a fun scene. I'm glad I took it with me. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay. Let's fucking serve. I need to learn to do it silently so I can audio check it. Farewell, my brethren. Noom. Noom. Nope, nope, that's caps lock shit. Noom! There we go. No! And again, Francis, you need a kind of fight. Yay! 10 XP, that's not even worth it. We're like far above these simpletons. Peasants! 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 Ah! Motherfucking presents. Pliciano, Francis. What? That voice. Where is it coming from? In here? Not there. Over here, Aru. Are you in the well? The voice. Are you in here? That's right, Aru. Ha! Wing you! Got to see you're doing fine, Fritiano and Francis. No, Franz. Oh, you're able to deal. Indeed, your presence feels like your presence feels. God, where did my China go? Your presence feels like one of a country's. Anyway, there's no need to stand out around here and speak. Get inside the well. Yay! Why are we down here? 
Wang Yao, explain yourself! You all are beneath me. You. Nah. Rats. Let's fight the rats. Rats of Nim! Or the rodents of unusual size. Rouse. Attack these fuckers! Yes. 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 Kill these rats! Yay! Okay, that's not too bad. There's no ice here. It's interesting. Wait, now where the fuck are you taking us? Ah. Or maybe it's an underground thing to get to the um where the well ends up. Nah. No snooks. No snooks. Ah, snooks! Nah, snooks! Nope. The electric mouse. Does that make you Jolteon? Yeah. No? No, that makes you Pikachu. You. Yay, there's a person. Alright. Ah! Oh, it's not snooks. I'm gonna uh, fight the snooks. Kick the snooks ass! Fuck both of you. Seriously. Kill the snook. Yeah, that it. You killed the snook. That's not too bad. Hi. Oh, wing out. You return. Move along now. Get inside. Ah. Uh -huh. You're a European, aren't you? What are you doing here? Get out. No, you get out. Fuck you. I'm not a one bit upset about having to move out of there. However, what makes my blood boil is that we have to do so because there was a betrayer within our people. Is it me? Oh, there's China. Hi. Hi. Couldn't eat another crab before all this. Look, I was too excited, too. Luckily, we had a lot of food saved, but how long would these last? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's time for us to start cooking forest monsters. Those bats and rats will get them all. Do it! No, you get out. What are you doing? Uh, not right now. I need to save. Yay. This way, I'll do. Yeah, let me just, uh... Ciao. Hot high. Here we go. The general, tell me in detail after what happened from beginning to end after we parted. I need to know exactly who you met, what you said, and what you did. I did this and then that and then that and then this. I understand now. Let me start with Fliciano, I thought I told you to use your brain more often now. You really screwed up a lot of things up now. You were lucky enough that Dilbert was kind enough to help you escape. One min one mistake and you could have been executed in the camp. And did you just say that you told Kiku everything? No wonder headquarter officers come to live. I'm sorry. Wing Yao, chill. Feliciano telling them everything is indeed a problem, but don't be so harsh. I'm not being harsh. Because of his actions, Kiku came to live to capture me. With the help of the civilians, I was able to get away safely, but there was a massive panic. Kiku came to live? 
that's not the point. Because of your actions, there was a civil war in Lev. That doesn't sound too peaceful. What happened? Some of the civilians decided to throw away some their pride and become Siberia's followers to live. They're arguing between bound down to Ivan and losing their heads. When Kiko came to live, the fear only grew worse. It was never thought that headquarters would send in people to live. So to protect their lives, they decided to change me to live so that they could become part of Siberia. But isn't that bad? Of course it is! If my, Siberi if my citizens decide to be part of Siberia, then I'll have no other choice! At this rate, I will die from the inside out due to their thoughts. I can't allow that to happen! Do you have a plan? I need to make it so all of my citizens have the same idea, and that is to keep the prize of being Chinese. I'm going to head to live now to with those that are causing the problem. Pichano, Francis, would you like to come? I'll go with you and help. It's my fault all this happened, so... And besides, I want to talk to Kiku about Lud, Kiku, Ivan. There's something... There's a lot I need to discuss with him. Haven't you learned anything? Kiku won't understand us. Let me make this clear. Elev, follow everything I say. If Kiku ever found out we won't... If he found us, we won't be able to do anything. I don't want to be sent to headquarters. Are we clear? See? Then let's get moving. We are going to use the underground tunnel. There is a path that starts from the left of the main room. Hurry. Hey. Deal with them. Hmm. Is there a problem? No. Not at this point, at least. Don't butt into my business. I will take care of my bit. I will take care of my civilians my way. That's all. So I will do as I like. I like it as well. You, as another country, cannot butt into my business either. Well, we'll see. I just hope that I'm imagining is just me being insane. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you too. Hi. Recently, in North Canada and London, there have been a lot of shootings directed at officers. We're assuming that it's South Canada's resistance group acting up again. I knew it. It's America. Being North, nor with North being one. That has nice jobs and living situations, and South being the one with field jobs and minimal food, who can really blame them? The villains are so different that it's impossible to try to get them to get along. Oh boy. Can I get through here? No. Is that a shop I see before me? Welcome, my dude. What do you like? Okay. Uh -huh. I should probably get more of these. Yeah. I should get a lot more of these. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. One more. Okay. Okay. How many do I have things? Full heal. That's nice. I should get some of these. I can get more of these! I need more of these! Okay. I think that's about it. Come again, I Dang. <sighs> Sorry, I just. I'm a long playthrough. My voice is hurting. In the main room, you said. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's right. Sweet channel. Didn't you have I Evans hot? Hmm? Why? I have a good idea. Hand it over. Um. Yes. Here you go. Good. We can do this and. <gasps> you whore. I knew it! I knew it! He killed the heart! I'm keeping it. No. What are you going to do with it? This is the part of Ivan. So if he loses it completely... It should no doubt be damaged to him. If we crush it here, then it'll be easier on us later. So give it to me. What? You can't do that! There's no reason to keep holding it either. So might as well use it when we can, right? 
No, it's a heart ring -o. You can't crush, crush a person's heart. It's the enemy's weak point, so We will be stupid to not use it to make things easier for us. Don't be sympathetic to our enemy. Hand over to heart. No, but we, we can't. Stop being so immature. Listen to me, Feliciano. No, I don't want to. Feliciano! Hey, hey, both of you, calm down. Ring out, we have the heart with us right now. So there's no need to cause immediate damage to it, right? So there's no problem in waiting a bit. As for you, Fletchiano, don't bring your personal feelings too much into this matter. Reevaluate your goals and decide what's best to do when you reach it. There's no need to rush ideas and actions about this matter. We have more important things to care for, right? Let's just keep a hold of the heart for now. Big brother. You're too soft on him. Save. Fuck that shit. Wait, what? Did I save? There we go. You. I know, I probably should be fighting soon. <gasps> Ooh. Huh. There's not much to say, it's just damn. Not much to say. I bet that um if I didn't pick up the heart, it would mostly just um just skip over those kinds of scenes in general. That'd be interesting. Where do I go? <laughs> Kill me. Not literally. Noom. Yay. Yes! Woo! Where the hell are we? Huh? Wait. Wait. I know this place. Don't go up there. Kiku's office is right. I'm back in fucking in there! Where do I go then? This way? This way. Or maybe I'm still in life. <gasps> oh! That was the moon. Gosh. Fucking shit. Mr. Honda says as long as we are loyal to Siberia, they will forgive everything wrong Lev has done in the past. Lev's already has moved for constant disobeying Siberia's security, so if we if I don't get sent to the camp by becoming loyal, then I'll do so. I don't want to go to camp. You poor. What you say? Wang Yao, let us live as together as Lev. We can't go back to our land you always speak of. Let's enjoy our lives now while we can, Aru. Don't look so worried. We won't let you be harmed. We will honor you and take care of you as we always have. Just as Lev instead of China. That's fucking frightening. Ugh. What, what are we gonna do here? Poop. Hi. Dorm Alexei. Alexei. Used to be against Siberia security, but after it decided to become loyal to them, they were given several rights and plenty more food. Lev can do the same right now. There's nothing good that comes from being against them, so let's go along with them instead. You whore. In. Oh right, she went to the underground. Locked. Where the fuck do we go? Oh. Wang Yao, I'm glad you're back. When I heard you ran away with those idiots, I was so worried. My dear homeland, isn't our choice the correct path? As long as we obey Siberia security, we don't have to worry about you getting hurt. That's what you thought you thought too. That's why you're back, right, Aru? 
I'm actually here to talk about that with you all. Can I have everyone gather at the inn? And don't let the officers find out about this. All right, Dudu. I will gather up everyone. Then, they are going to be happy to see you. Let's go to go to before Kiko notices other. See. Here we go. Big channel. What's wrong, big brother Francis? You're most likely to see something you wouldn't want to. Prepare yourself. Be what are you talking about? I'm talking about Wing Yell's possible way of dealing with this. Eh? You two, come inside! We can I can't afford to be seen! Of course, of course. Coming in now. I have a pretty good idea what he's gonna do. I gathered you all here today to check your current stance on this civil matter we have going on. Are you all ready to bow down to obey our ways? Of course, Odu. By obeying severe security, we will finally get some peace in our lives, Odu. If we try to fight against it, they will destroy you and send us to camp. But if we obey, they will allow us some freedom. Please understand us, Rangyao. We want to keep you safe, Odu. If you focus on trying to be China, they will hurt you. But if you go as live, they will... Then they will let you live as part of Siberia. But in order to do... For that to happen, we'll have to erase our history. All those years of China will disappear. Do you understand? Wang Yao, I understand it's difficult, but you have to let go of the past. In reality, not, a, not one of us remembers China. We were born and lived, and were raised in Siberia, and it's a bit impossible for us to hold pride in something we just don't know. I see. So this is how long a hundred years really is. It changes so much. Wang Yao. Then I have no other choice. You all are nothing but poison in my body. I will now dispose of all of you. <laughs> Wang Yao. Why? What, what happened? Huh? <laughs> Wang Yao, why? What? Be quiet. If you make too much ruckus, the officers would come. Do you really not know? You tried to sell me to Ivan and threw away your pride. I'm not kind enough to support those who aren't useful to me. No. No, no my homeland! We, we're just trying to protect you! What you tried to do is sell me to Ivan. I don't need you in me. You are nothing but a tumor that needs to be removed. Ah! Ah! I said to be quiet! Get out of my way, Feliciano! No! If I move, then you... I told you to obey me in that. This is a civil matter. You have no right to tell me how to fix my own problems. Move, Feliciano! No! Oh! I really wish this one was going to be the outcome. Hey, you. Leave this building with Feliciano. Right now. What? You have no right to tell me what to do, you European! You not want to. Force you. Who would you rather die right here by Wang Yang's hands? Uh, help me! I don't want to die here! Then let's get out of here! You aren't going anywhere! Oh, no, no. You stay here with me. Let's chat a little bit. Let go of me, Francis! Don't struggle so much. It makes me sad. Let's have an adult chit chat. Run along. Run along now, Felicia. Jesus. Sir, are you okay? Why? Why is Wang Yao so angry? We are doing this for him. Why can't he understand? I told you to stay out of my business! And I told you too, that I'll do as I please. I'm not the type to just sit back and watch that. I don't care for your government trying to convince mine! Oh, believe me, it's nothing that's grand. I'm just a country of love. So, I cannot watch you do something without it. Love? Of course, I was moving with such emotion. I love my citizens. Care to explain what you just did to those citi citizens you claim for love? Those people sold out their prides and became Ivans. Ivans! Ugh. They weren't my citizens anymore. What was troublesome was the fact that they still thought they were still my people. As long as they thought that, they still they would affect me. So I had to get rid of them as soon as possible. So you kill them? 
What did you no do not the right- What you did was not the correct thing, but they still love you. I don't need fake love. Besides, if they really love me, then when I said I didn't support what they were doing, they would have shut their mouths and followed my words. Excuse you? At their homeland, I am very similar to a parent to my civilians. My citizens are my children. It isn't common sense for children to dictate their lives to the parents at all times. Dictate their lives? Are you telling me that they're losing their lives at the end of the sake of you is what they live for? Cut the crap! Countries are born to protect civilians. How can you say otherwise? You've got me wrong. Civilians dedicate their lives to make the country better. That's why we protect them. There's no need to protect civilians that are going to do that are not going to do anything for their country. I can't accept that thought. It would seem so. I can't understand your view either. But one thing for certain. Then, if I let these people stay, I would have rotted from the inside out. If that would happened, my loyal citizens would have... would have been without protection of their country. I'm sure you know what that means to them, right? I'm not going to let them be Yvonne and Arthur's slaves. I will protect my own civilians. That's not something you can deny me of. I still don't think that's a good enough excuse to kill your civilians. I don't care if you agree or not. You and I are separate countries. We have different histories and lands. There is no way we have the same morals. You're right. No matter how much time we spend, there's no way we can convince one another. Fine then. I won't say anything more. But at the same time, you can't e you can't either about how I do things. <laughs> Even if I did, you won't just listen anyway, right? Very true. That's it. Big brother the Francis! What is there now? You too. Follow me. Do we really have to leave, Haru? If you want to stay alive, you can't go back to my now. To live. You understand that, don't you? Go to Ruboff and show the people this letter. At the very least, they should let you hide out there. However, if you st decide to live there, you must toss away the lifestyle you had here and live. Ruboff is, has Ruboff way of living. <clears throat> if you are going to criticize that, then you have no right to live there. In the end, it's up to you. You may go to Ruboff or to somewhere else. Die in the wilderness. Do as you please. Okay. Also, if you choose Rubov, I will tell you right now that that life is tough, already tough. I'm sure they will provide you shelter, but please do something on your own for food, and stay hidden during deliveries. You two look completely Asian, so if headquarters see in Rubov, you and everyone there will be in big trouble. If you choose to still go, then go now. We aren't going to escort you there. Understood. We appreciate your help, Europeans. No. Francis Bonafoy and Feliciano Vargas. Do you mind telling Wang Yao something? What is it? That we that we can't be his people anymore. But we wanted to live by his side. When I feel up to it. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Alright, Feliciano, let's head back. Big brother, I... Feliciano, there's nothing we can do what, about what's finished. Big, uh, big brother? I see. Oh. Well, we haven't actually passed the mark, so I should probably be getting going. So, let's go talk to Wang Yao after this, so... Have a good day, everybody! Bye!